Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video it's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another tutorial so this tutorial will be basically on Hackintosh and on Clever Configurator and this is the third part of my series of videos on Clever Configurator and how to do different stuff using the Clever Configurator and I have read a lot of questions and a lot of comments on my YouTube channel and there are a few things that I would like to change in my tutorials and the way I make tutorials. Number one, I won't make like 10 minutes or 20 minute long tutorials from now on because that basically causes a lot of problem with people because they have to watch whole video to find out what they are looking for. And from now I will make small clips. Each of them will be like five to 10 minutes or probably five minutes. And I will cover up each section of Clever Configurator in that. So this way I will also describe what I told in the video in the description below for all of you to get easier to search the problem they are looking for. And by this you will be also able to watch the complete video and understand it and you can also go back to a certain part to see what you missed and all of it will really help you guys. And one more thing before I start I would really like to let you people know that I have a Patreon channel. And this information I normally give at the end of the video, but I will really like to give it in the uh, start because some of the people basically don't watch the whole video and they might have missed that point. So I have a page on patreon.com and it's patreon.com forward slash Ibrahim Muslim. And there you can contact me and we can collaborate to work to fix your Hackintosh or build your Hackintosh or I can guide you how to make a custom Hackintosh, which hardware you would buy for your specific requirements and how to build and then using online softwares like TeamViewer and AnyDesk, I will install the Hackintosh on your system. So I will guide you how to install the Hackintosh onto your system. And there are certain charges for that and it depends on your system specs and the areas where you need help. So you can contact me there and we can work together to build a workstation or a Hackintosh or even a gaming computer. So let's proceed with our tutorial number three. In my last tutorial, we covered, I think, CPU and devices section. So in the previous video, I talked about ACPI, boot, boot graphics, CPU and devices section. So in this video, I will cover the devices section again. And this whole video will be on this section alone. And it will be a very short video. So let's go. So in this devices section here, we have a fake ID. And this is USB. This is audio. And this property hacks and there are a lot of different small features here so if we go to the devices section the most important part of devices section is basically fake id and usb and audio so if you are using alc 1120 or alc 1200 or alc 1150 or alc 892 a89 whatever it is you can inject different Kodak versions here to enable the ALC using an other driver or you can say using another text which is very important without that injection won't work so let's discuss that first so if we go here in text installer we will find Apple ALC so Apple ALC is basically the kernel extensions which will basically turn on your audio drivers of your USB. So if you are using an external audio car, you might not require this. But if you are using the internal motherboard audio car, you will definitely require this. So for the people who are using ALC 1200 or ALC 1150, they can use either one or they can use either 11 or they can use even four. So all these will work for them and you can try a couple of different ones if this fix does not work in the future. Then we have Reset HDA. So Reset HDA is very important and as you can read here, it says that after a non-proper sleep state or after a proper sleep state, sometimes the audio drivers stop working. You will see the audio is loaded, but the audio or the music won't come out of the speakers. So you have to use the reset ATA with that. And one more thing is AFG low power state. So what this does is it does not let your audio card to go to a low power state using Mac OS. It works completely fine in Windows, but it does not work properly in Mac. So if the power state goes to lower or in power state mode, the speakers start to make a cracking sound so the speakers or your amplifiers will start to make some different types of popping cracking sound when you will try to move your 
mouse or keyboard while the internal audio card is in sleep mode what this fix will do it will stop the audio card from going to the sleep mode it won't affect the power consumption a lot it might increase the power usage by two three volts but that's all it will do and it will save you all that cracking and annoying sound that come out of the speakers after you stop playing any media then here is the usb so usb injects uh, four five different things fix ownership high current add clock id and name eoh add clock id is used to give each usb a unique clock id and it will be used to wake system or sleep system properly fix ownership is an obsolete or old option it's not required anymore and the high current mode allows the usb to pump more amperes out of each port if those ports support high amperage and then name E800 basically renamed the USB to IP address. So name E800 renames the USB names or USB profiles to different USB profiles to E800 so the Mac can coordinate or Mac can load them easily. Then we have fake ID. In fake ID, we have Intel Graphics, NVIDIA, Wi-Fi, IME, XHCI, SATA, LAN, and ATI. So the most important part here is basically Intel gfx and other one mostly used is ime to provide a proper ime to your system and it increases the compatibility and iMessages and facetime compatibility with your system if you provide a good fake id so in intel gfx mostly for four generation an address of 4128086 is used and there are a couple of different one as well you can google them then there is 9a16 or something so you can google a lot of different combinations which will work for your system so this fake id basically coordinates with an other part of the system which is graphics and here with the ig platform id so this fake id is not a single variable it has some other parts as well which you will find in graphics section and in graphics section you will be probably told about them in few other stuff for example if you go to haswell you can see for hd 4200 44 and 46 the clever configurator requires a fake id of 4128086 to work properly these things are mentioned above and below as well you can find out them here and on google if you google them and then there is set intel backlight this can fix the intel backlight issue in some of the laptops then there is inject lan injection which is always enabled that helps your lan drivers to inject properly and that's all for this video guys so this was the devices section of clever configurator and in my next video i will cover up disabled drivers and gui and that's all for this video guys if you still have any question query let me know in the comment section below and remember i have a patreon channel you can contact me there and if you have any question query you can contact me on facebook on youtube as well and on patreon so that's all thanks for watching i hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and until the very next video please take care allah hafiz